Hey guys, we have a different setup today. We're here at Zeppelin & Co in Singapore, Simlim Square, for the launch of the new DCS Lina headphone system. So this comes with a network deck, a class AB headphone amp, as well as a Grade 1 master clock. So let's take a look at it. As you can tell, there's really a bit of a queue here to demo this stack before the embargo lifts later today. But, I mean, I had a bit of time with them, I listened to a couple of tracks, and as always, audio is super subjective, but man, these sound great. But to be very honest, I actually don't have a lot of experience with these sort of setups, so Let's talk to Jeremy from Zeppelin & Co so he can introduce more about the system as well as explain how everything comes together. It was really good to invite Tech360 and its viewers to see Zeppelin & Co and accompany us for the launch of Lena DAC from DCS. These come from the British brand uh, in Cambridgeshire uh, called DCS, which is Data Conversion Systems. And so they are primarily a hi-fi company and they've decided to do hi-fi for your headphones and this is the DCS experience which would normally be for speakers and big system uh, rigs but we've seen headphones explode as a market in the last three or four years and so uh, it's astounding what a product like the DCS Lena will do to your headphones and it's so transformative I mean, in case you guys haven't heard this system costs around 40,000 Singapore dollars in total. 40k, it's a lot. So maybe you can give us a bit more insight and, you know, maybe a bit of justification about yeah, the price. I understand. Um, $40,000 is a real headline in itself. Mm -hmm. You can't write it. Um, I think this shows the maturity of the market. And we've seen in three years an exponential rise in terms of technology, both wireless and wired. Um, in this case, the DCS Lina is a smart DAC in which it connects to your network and feeds an extremely high quality amplifier. It's definitely audible in terms of the results, you know, moving from a basic Bose or Sony headphone into the Lina. Of course, accompanying headphones would be required to hear the difference. Regarding the $40,000 price tag, it certainly is um, eye-watering and it, it's for a very select few. What goes into building Lina is a lot of intellectual property, that's for sure, because mere parts count alone cannot justify um, a $40,000 system. But when put together, you hear the result of decades of R&D by DCS, who actually used to be a military and radar application company. And so I think whether it is worth it, it comes down to the individual as well, whether they're able to justify that cost mm -hmm. personally. I'm just so happy that audio as a market has gone right to the very top, but also right to um, the bottom as well, in which you have a $39 pair of wired earphones they can give as a gift to introduce to them um, how good music can sound affordably, accessibly, um, and at your own convenience. Mm. Expanding on the fact that each of the parts are actually separatable, so maybe we can expand a bit more as to how you can mix and match the, the parts in the system to kind of fit your ideal setup. I think it's fully acknowledged that someone who might consider a DCS Lena might also own something equally high-end from another established and prestigious company. Mm -hmm. DCS wants at the end of the day to be a part of your listening in whatever way, shape or form or cost it will be. Um, that is a practical way to get Lena into your room, into your life. And we at Zeppelin & Co along with various other retailers and the brand themselves will be open to a conversation always to help you understand what you can do, what you cannot do, um, where you can place Lena and the ways you might be able to enjoy each individual component or as a whole really if you can't choose. So my last question, um, I know you know a lot of us are very familiar with DAX and AMPs but not all of us are familiar with master clocks and what part they play in a system so maybe you can explain a bit more as to how you know, how this fits into an existing setup maybe that I already have at home, you know, with a DAC and M, mm. um, how this kind of helps to elevate the listening experience. When you have a separate plug outboard, you have the chance to lavish 
a clock with everything it likes, which is low noise, low distortion, a lot of shielding from um, handphones and electronics around. And the end result is gonna be a very clean clock signal that then gets fed to the Lina network DAC or a compatible DAC from DCS or another company. And Lina DAC is gonna see that input and it's then going to tell its internal clocks, good as they are, they're not gonna be as good as an outboard uh, Lina master clock. And so it, Lina network DAC tells its clocks to synchronize to the incoming signal that's a lot more precise. It's for the very, very um, conscious few. Who, who go into a listen, you know, uh, Lina Master Club would be the one for them. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Jeremy. I hope you guys learned a little something. I know I definitely did. If you guys are in Singapore, you know, come on down and ask the folks here if you could try out the system. Well, maybe if you have $40,000 to drop, it might be your next purchase.